So you're thinking about making a move to Cincinnati, but you're not sure if you want to live in the city. Well, in this video, I'm going to take you 30 minutes east of downtown Cincinnati to a very popular suburb. In fact, the third largest township in all of Claremont County. But there's some things that you're going to want to know before moving here, and you're not going to want to miss it. And I'm going to get after it right now. <music> What's up everybody, Shane here again from the Mean It Group. And if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn everything there is to know about living, working, eating, sleeping, playing in and around the Queen City, including all of our neighborhood vlog tours, be sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the bell so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. And I gotta tell you, we get reach outs every single day, calls, texts, emails from folks just like you that are relocating to the Queen City. and we absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about making a move to the greater Cincinnati area, be sure that you reach out. That's my number down below. I'm the one that responds to all the calls, texts, and emails. Days, nights, weekends, it doesn't matter. We have your back when moving to Cincinnati. All right, so where is Batavia Township in relation to downtown Cincinnati? So on this map, you can see I have the um, actual directions that are up here on the screen. And I just chose uh, Great American Ballpark downtown Cincinnati where the Reds play and um, just using the quickest route uh, out of downtown. And it's just simply hopping on 471 to 275, which is a circle uh, around uh, pretty much that, you know, touches the, you know, all the, the tri-state area and um, getting off at State Route 32. Now, uh, there are two uh, state routes you got 32, which is right here, which is the, the route that is uh, is chosen. But there's also um, 125 um, is also um, a route that you could take. And depending on where you would you know, live in, in uh, Batavia Township, 125 is actually the line of Batavia Township. And I'm going to show you that. Uh, I'm going to show you that right now on, um, on this screen. So you can see here's 125 here. And this is the edge. This would be the south, um, uh, the southwestern edge of of Batavia Township. Now, one thing to uh, keep in mind and to consider when you ch when you're choosing which um, which state route that you want to exit, whether it be State Route 125 or State Route 32. Now, depending on which way you're coming, if you were coming from the south or coming from downtown, you know 125 would be your first option. I wouldn't do that. I would go and choose uh, State Route 32. And um, here's why. Actually, a couple of reasons. State Route 125 um, or Beachmont Avenue is actually a target zone. And what I mean by that is uh, it is heavily patrolled by uh, the highway patrol, by the police, and they have a zero tolerance for distracted drivers. Um, New law actually in Ohio that just went into effect um, within the last um, uh, month is you can no longer be on your cell phone while you're traveling. You can't be texting, obviously, which isn't a, a good idea anyway. But now there's an actual law where they can stop you if they see you with your phone um, in your hand. It's now a probable cause stop if you have your phone in your hand. And this is a target area on 125 Beachmont. Um, from the time that you get off of 275 you know, out east, um, even past, um, you know, once you get past out of Batavia Township, it's still a target area. So unless you're going somewhere that's going to be close to 125, I would highly recommend that you skip this exit and you go over uh, one more exit uh, to State Route 32. Now, here's what's going on at State Route 32 is ODOT is spending um, a bunch of of, of money, a bunch of taxpayer money, and they are uh, improving what they're calling the State Route 32, State Route 32 corridor. Now, what that means is um, once you get off of 275, they're eliminating all of the traffic lights from 275 all the way to Batavia. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit about um, what I mean by that. I actually um, shot some drone footage. Here it is here where um, I'm at 
uh, let's see, this is Bach Buxton or, uh, or Elick. Um, over to the, the left on the screen would be, and you'll see it here when, it, when I flip the drone back around, but is you have Holman Motors over there. On the other side, you have Jeff Weiler, which is another large car dealership. But you can see where they're building right now, they're building this overpass. And these are gonna be the on and exit ramps here. And um, by them doing this, they're going to be able to eliminate um, that light that, I, that I'm going to be able to show you here in a, uh, in a second. Over here to the right, you have Eastgate Woods. These are, um, these are uh, uh, single family apartments, one bedroom, I think up to two, three bedroom apartments over here. These are all rentals. Um, and then um, again, you're going to be able to make it all the way to Batavia without having to stop at a stoplight, which is going to make it extremely um, convenient and quick to get, um, to get home, it, you know, if you're traveling, you know, to or from, for, or from work. All right. So here it is. I flipped it around so you can see it from the other angle. This is coming from that new overpass that they're building right now. Um, you got the, the sea dealership here, tractor supply over here, but then you can see you got, you know, Holman, which is a large, you know, um, I think they're a Buick GMC store. They sell a ton of RVs and then you have Jeff Weiler here. You got Wendy's and you got a BP, but this, uh, this light right here, I mean, actually I'm going to back, I'm going to go ahead and just bring this back. This light right here is going to be eliminated. So this light is gone and there's other lights that they're also going to eliminate. So that is going to be the, uh, state route 32, uh, corridor. And I'm going to have the link below here so you can, um, you can read up on it if, if you're interested, but it's going to make, um, getting out to Batavia from 275 an absolute breeze. And it's also going to help the westbound traffic. So if you go into the city um, from, from your house in Batavia, it's going to make it a whole lot quicker. I will say like right now during the construction, going west takes a lot longer than um, going out east. Um, they made some improvements earlier on where uh, they actually added a lane. But when you get rid of those stoplights, that's going to make a huge huge difference. Tavy Township is the uh, third largest township in Claremont County, and it is the fastest growing township with almost 30,000 residents, uh, fastest growing from 2010 to 2020. Uh, I think we're like right at 26, 27,000 residents right now. That was the 2020 census. So I would imagine with all the new builds that um, we're probably closer to 30,000 um, at this point. But again, we're the third largest, uh, third largest township in all of Claremont County. And what one of the things that makes the township unique is within the township, there are actually four different school districts, right? There is um, Batavia, obviously. And then there's West Claremont. Uh, there is Williamsburg. And then there is Claremont Northeastern. So there, the residents inside of the township, depending on where you live, um, there are four different uh, school districts inside the township. Depending on where you live inside the township is um, could determine the school district that you live in, which would determine the school that you would go to. And again, there are four inside of, uh, of Batavia Township. Okay, so let's talk about some high schools or some some uh, school districts, right? So, um, like I said before, there are four different school districts where your children could potentially go to school, depending on where you live, um, in in Batavia Township. Um, let me go back over here to the township map, and we're going to start with uh, Batavia uh, Elementary, the middle school, and the high school. Now, what's What's cool about Batavia is um, all of those schools are going to be on the same campus. Right now, the high school and the elementary are, are already built and they're on the same campus. They're in, they're in the process of building the junior high um, or the middle school. Currently, uh, the Batavia Middle School or Batavia Junior High is down in the village um, of, of Batavia but they are building it up where the high school and the elementary is. Um, and it's a beautiful campus. And I'm gonna show you some drone footage of that. All right, so let's look at the map. All right, so where is Batavia High School? This is downtown Batavia here, okay? So you got, this is State Route 32. If you were to get off of the exit, as you go into downtown Batavia, we have a Domino's Pizza. This is the BMV. 
Um, the, the post office is down here. Um, but this here is where the, uh, the, the junior high is now, um, is actually over here in the village. Okay. So they're moving that they're building that right now, the new junior high or the new middle school up on the campus where the elementary school is and the high school. So let's back out and let's get you up there. So it's going to be up, up the hill. So we can just follow 32, that 32 corridor that I just told you about. So we can go, go up 32, right? And then we can get off here either at, um, this is, I believe this is Bower Road. Okay. So at Bower Road, you got, you got a hotel here. You got Frisch's, McDonald's, Arby's. Um, this will also get you to Mercy Hospital. So just continue on 32. You could get off and turn right on Herald and come this and come this way. And then you're on 32. And here is the high school here. Um, so you would turn left here on Bulldog Place. The elementary school is at the very back of the campus. The high school is here. This is where they're building um, the junior high. And I'm going to go to that drone footage right now that I shot uh, last week. <clears throat> I mean, this campus is absolutely beautiful. You can see it's got that really nice football field. Um, and then you got uh, the separate baseball um, field and you have the fast pitch softball field behind that. Um, you have the, uh, the tennis courts. And this just gives you a really good look at um, at the sports field here on the Batavia um, campus. Or straight ahead on the other side of the um, of the football field, this is where they're building, which I would assume is going to be the new junior high. Here's the elementary school here. And you can see that what's going on with the construction. Um, the high school is is right here. So this was, was the only building in the very, uh, in the very beginning, um, you know, what they had on this campus, but I'm pretty sure they had, let me pause this. I'm pretty sure that they had this plan all along that they were going to put all three schools, um, on this, on this piece of property. So, um, you can see where they are in construction, you know, here it is. We're at the, this, we're at the end of April, April of 2023 and, you know, it looks like there are good ways um, along here. I would imagine that there's wouldn't see any reason why this would not this would not be ready for uh, when school when school goes back in session for the next next school year in August uh, or early September. So into that, so all three schools, the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school are all going to be on the same campus. Um, and then <clears throat> I'm going to actually take you through a tour of this neighborhood across the street. It's called Batavia Lakes. Um, this is Bulldog Bulldog Place, and when you go right across the street, you'll run right into Batavia Lakes, and um, I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to show you that neighborhood here uh, in a few minutes. So um, this is Batavia, and um, when we start talking about property taxes, uh, you know the uh, your property taxes are going to be heavily uh, dependent on the school district that you're in. So I'm going to pull up the tax rates here. So <clears throat> this is directly from the, uh, the county auditor's website, and I'll have a link down below where you can just click on it yourself and you can you know do your own research if you want to. But <clears throat> here's Batavia Township, which is what we're talking about. And here are the different school districts that I mentioned that they're, that are in the, um, the township. There are four, you got Batavia, Claremont Northeastern, West Claremont, and Williamsburg. They are listed um, multiple times, some of them, because the districts are different. You see the numbers here, one, zero, 01 through 06 and 55. And then you can see the tax rates, okay? And what you wanna pay close attention to when you're looking at your taxes for your property is gonna be this effective rate right here, okay? So um, we're gonna be talking about Batavia Township, which I'm fairly confident, I'm pretty sure without going to the map, that it's in district 01. So their effective tax rate is gonna be this right here. Now, here's how that works. So what they're gonna do is the county is going to, um, they're gonna appraise your property. Um, they're gonna do this, I believe every six years and they update it midway point. 
and they're going to do just an appra appraisal probably from their desktop computer. It's usually always less than what your property is actually worth. Like fire market value, let's say your house sells for 400, they're probably going to appraise your house for somewhere around 200 to 250. And then what's going to happen is, is they're going to assess your property. Um, and that's 35% of the um, appraised value. So let's just say that uh, your appraised value was $200,000. I'm gonna go to my calculator here real quick. They are going to, um, they are going to assess that and they're only gonna tax you on 35% of that, which is $70,000. So your taxes are going to be um, based on $70,000 at this 55.552823 number is what your taxes are gonna be. So that's how they are going to, the county is going to determine on what your taxes are going to be um, in, uh, per year. And that's how that works. I will show you this a little bit more in more detail as we go through the neighborhood. I'll pull up a, a property and then I'll show you exactly um, how, how the county will um, determine what your tax liability is for your property. All right, so let's hop across the street from Batavia High School here on my screen. Here we go, Bulldog Place, right? There's the Google satellite image that I just showed you and I showed you Batavia and what it looks like now and the additional buildings. But okay, right across the street is Batavia Lakes. And I did a drive-by actually just uh, last week as well. And uh, this is coming in on Mallard. And just gonna show you a few of the homes, what they look like. This is a little bit older uh, neighborhood, um, early 2000s. Uh, 2004, 2005, somewhere around in there, where a lot of these homes were built. It's a nice neighborhood. It's got uh, two lakes. You can see this one lake here, and then they have a larger lake uh, here between Widgeon Place and Muscovy. Um, so super nice homes. Um, average price you can see on the screen here. Um, you know, this one here sold for 240, which I'm actually going to show you the, the taxes here, just to give you an example of the taxes. Um, mid twos, this one here sold for just over, um, uh, 300,000. So, um, so let's, let's jump into, um, this home, uh, right here on, uh, Gadwall. And I'm just going to show you and try to explain to you what the taxes are going to look like. So this particular home sold for $240,000. Okay. So it sold for 240. I'm gonna jump over to the county records. This is all public record. Um, anyone can go and search this information on the on the county we, uh, auditor's website. So I'm gonna go over to the Cormac County Auditor and I'm gonna pull up this, um, this property, this parcel, okay? So here you can see it is in Taxi District 01, just like I showed you uh, here in the tax rates. So you see 01. So the effective tax rate is gonna be this 55.552823 number. Okay, so we're going to go back over here to the um, to the tax record. Um, here's the effective tax rate, and there are some credits as well that you that you get back on your taxes: non-business um, credit and owner occupancy credit as well. There are some other credits that um, could be applied to a property, depending on where they are. But I just want to show you what I was talking about um, on how the county appraises your property and then what the assessment is and how you are taxed. So inside um, of the Claremont County website, you can go to the actual, um, you can go to the tax summary. Okay. This will show you um, exactly what the original charge was, what the reduction is um, based on the effective tax rate and then any credits. So you can see here's this non-business credit. Um, and then the owner occupancy credit, um, which will give you what the full year taxes are. So this particular property, the taxes are just over $3,100 um, or 11, call it 1160 a half. Um, let me show you the values. Now this is what I'm talking about when, when they appraise your property and then what the assessment is and which is what your taxes are, um, calculated on what they're, what they're figured on. So here we go. Let's go to, uh, values. So this particular property was appraised in 2022. 
Keep in mind, it's sold, let me go back here, it's sold for 240, okay? It's sold for 240. The value in Claremont County's eyes was 178.9. That's total value of land and building. And then they're gonna assess that at 35%, which gives it a total value of 62,620. And that is how they, uh, they take that amount. They're gonna use this tax, this uh, effective tax rate here and any credits they're going to take an account for some credits right okay so the non-business credit the owner occupancy credit and that's how the county comes up with 31 17 50 or 15 58 78 a half so you here's the deal here's what's going to add to your mortgage right this is this is probably what's most important of what you really want to know so you take that 31 17 50 probably going to add a couple hundred bucks or so um, to your mortgage that's going to go into escrow. Obviously, on top of your principal and interest, you're going to have um, you're going to have your your um, your taxes. You're also going to have your insurance. Um, so that's going to add to what your mortgage payment you know, would, would would be. Now, if you go back here to the actual property, it shows the estimated mortgage here and being at $1,374. So I just wanted to show you this. I wanted you to see, um, you know, what the homes look like, you know, what your tax rates are. You can see, you know, even in, in zero one district where the tax effective tax rate is 55, you know, you know percent, uh, taxes are very, very affordable here in, in, in Batavia Township. Um, this is a super nice neighborhood. Um, we're going to go through um, some other neighborhoods um, a little bit later on in this video, but I just wanted you to see, um, you know, Batavia Lakes, which is right across the street from the high school. Wanted to give you a really good idea on what those homes look like. And um, just wanted you to see uh, from afar, if you're, you know, thinking about, you know, making a move here that you can see, you know, what these neighborhoods you know, have to offer. All right, so let's talk about uh, another school district just real quick. Um, West Claremont School District, the, the junior high is actually inside of Batavia Township. Um, not by much, but it is. And it's right here in the center of your screen, which is off of Clough Pike, which I still believe, without looking this up, is the, the longest road in Claremont County, Clough Pike. So you, you got uh, the middle school here. Um, it used to be Amelia High School. But what happened uh, was Glenasty High School and Amelia High School were both standalone high schools uh, in the same school district. Glenasty is no longer. In fact, they tore that building down uh, years ago um, and they combined the schools and they they combined to make West Claremont High School, which I'm going to show you. It's uh, and it's a monster. It's a beautiful campus. Here's some uh, drone footage that I shot. Um, I believe it was last week sometime, but this here is their football stadium um again right off of clough pike there uh, they play you know football and and soccer there they have a practice field you can see that's um, next to it with the, the the tennis courts as well and um west claremont is exact or 24th largest school district in the in entire state it covers like 54 square miles um of course on the east side of cincinnati um more than 8,400 students from, you know, preschool to uh, all the way up to, to 12th grade. But just look at this camp, this campus. This campus is just massive. Now, it's not going to be as large as, you know, what we saw with Batavia, but this is just the high school. So you've got um, the high school here. You got the junior high down the street, which, again, used to be an old high school campus. So it's also very, very large. And then there are uh, several elementary schools with uh, some are in Batavia Township, others are in different townships, um, mostly Union Township, which I will also be doing a video on. So West Claremont is open enrollment. So let's just say that you live somewhere in Batavia Township and you are in a district where you're supposed to go to Batavia or you're, you should go to Williamsburg or CME. But West Claremont is open enrollment, but there is an application process. I'll leave the link down below to their website to where you can get, um, uh, go to their website and learn a little bit more about how that open enrollment uh, process works. Okay, so tax rates. So let's just say that you land and you're going to be in West Claremont. So let's go back over here to the, the taxes. There's not a huge difference 
But if you look at the uh, effective tax rate, which we talked about before, which is what you want to pay close attention to, you can see that the largest numbers here, 59, West Claremont, 59, West Claremont. So if you are in Batavia Township, but in the West Claremont School District, your effective tax rate is going to be almost four percentage points higher than Batavia that we just talked about. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. And again, that is not you know the value of your home that sold for $400,000. It is an appraised value that the county will do, and then they will assess it at 35%, and that's what you would pay um, your effective rate on is that 35% number. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Clermont Northeastern Schools. And the reason why I'm touching on this is uh, it's important is because the school district really is going to affect your taxes, okay, your property taxes. It has everything to do. Uh, I touched on that a little bit earlier, you know, explaining you know, the difference between Batavia, and West Clermont. Well, now I want to show you Clermont Northeastern because their effective tax rate is quite a bit less but it does come with uh, with a caveat, and I want to go over that right now. So what I did was uh, I actually drove through um, a neighborhood that is being built right now. So here's State Route 32, right, that we talked about. There's the hospital. Here's the Batavia campus, okay, the massive campus that houses all three, uh, you know, the elementary, the middle school, and the high school on. Well, right across 32, just north of 32, is this neighborhood right here. And it's a Ryan Homes neighborhood, and they're calling it um, they're calling it Streamside. And here is a uh, just a quick little video. I drove through it. Um, I believe it was last week. It was a super nice day, so I wanted to get out and um, get some footage of some of some new neighborhoods. So you can see the so you can see the houses here. So you know all the different lots with you know straw and stuff because they're trying to get the grass to grow. So they just finished building the homes. But this this subdivision is not very old um, at, at all. In fact. Oh, look here, someone just just delivered some new materials to build to build a new one. But um, you can see by looking at the uh, here's one going up here, got the tie wrap on it. So uh, if you look at get this out of the way, look at the at the Google map here. You know, most of the homes are, are were built right here in this on this uh, first stretch of the, and then back here. So there's a lot of homes back here. I did drive the entire circle. There are more homes back there that you see on this map, but there are still uh, just a ton of opportunity um, as far as open lots. Um, this is also going to be, uh, according to their signage, is going to be a pool community. So if that's something that you're looking forward to um, or would like to have, this might be um, this might be a neighborhood that you might want to explore. All right, so let's talk about um, where your kids are going to go to school. If you live here, um, you know you would assume that they would just go to Batavia, right? Because here's the neighborhood. And right across the street, right across State Route 32, is the Batavia High School campus or the Batavia campus. It's not in the Batavia School District. Streamside is in Claremont Northeastern School District. So a couple things that you're going to want to know. Number one, your taxes, your property taxes are going to be less. In fact, um, you can see according to the county, county auditor's website, uh, this particular property that we're talking about is probably going to be in zero two um, because this down here is the village actually. So this is probably going to be your effective tax rate um, for um, for Streamside. So you're going to be in district zero two and you can see the effective tax rate is 43.917173. Quite a bit less than if you're in Batavia School District at 55, obviously, simple math, right? Or in West Claremont at 59. So you're going to pay less property tax on your assessed value of 35% of the appraised value um, at 43%. What? So your taxes, you know, that you're going to be paying into, you know, into escrow every single month are going to be quite a bit less. Now, 
that is going to come with a little bit of a caveat. Claremont Northeastern does have a 1% earnings tax. So if you live in the Claremont Northeastern School District, um, you, you will be taxed debt effective tax rate for this neighborhood at 43 and change, whatever that was. But you're also going to be taxed on your on your income at 1%. So I think it's probably going to even out. In fact, you're, you're probably going to still end up paying less in taxes um, unless you're just a, um, a very, very high earner. So let me show you on the map real quick before moving on to some other things inside the township. Where in the world is Claremont Northeastern Schools? Well, all three schools, the elementary, the middle school, and the high school are also on the same campus, just like Batavia. But I'm going to have to zoom out here uh, big time uh, because um, even though Streamside is in Batavia Township, Claremont Northeastern Schools is not. It's quite a bit um, actually outside of the township. Um, and we're going to just bring this all the way down here. So here it is right by Google. Claremont Northeastern is way up here. All right. So you live here, your kids are going to go to school up here. So let me kind of bring in here and let me show you a little bit about what we're talking about. I don't have any drone footage. Unfortunately, I didn't get out there to, to do that, but I can show you um, from Google Maps here. So this is State Route 50. And we'll talk a little bit about this uh, later on uh, in the video and definitely in some upcoming videos on the different townships uh, in Claremont County. But um, the high school right here in the center, you got the elementary school and the middle school. Uh, you can see the football stadium and I'm sure they play soccer there as well. But then right next to the high school um, campus, the middle school it is their uh, the sports complex. So if your kids are, you know, they're uh, playing uh, youth sports growing up, and they're going to play soccer or football or baseball. That's all going to happen right here at the um, uh, their, at their sports complex. So I'm going to bring it back out here again, and then try to give you an idea of what we're talking about. That you know, even though uh, even though you you live close to a school, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the school you're going to be going to. So again, here's Streamside, that new community that I just showed you that's in c and &E schools, even though Batavia is right across the street. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, the state is who draws these lines and decides on where your kids are going to go to school based on where you're living uh, inside of the various um counties. Let me just show you real quick. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but let me show you just real quick on what's what's around, like where are you going to go grocery shopping? Where would you go just shopping if you're not just going to shop on Amazon like most people do? But if you're going to go grocery shopping, where are you going to go? And this is a fun fact. There's not one single major grocery store in the entire township. Almost 30,000 residents, the third largest township in all of Claremont County. There's not one major grocery store that is inside of the township. But don't freak out. You're not going to have to drive an hour to go grocery shop. I'm going to show you exactly where you're going to go. So let's just say, for instance, that, um, you know, we're talking about Streamside right now. Okay, so we're right here. We talked about State Route 32 before. Okay, this, this corridor that they're building, that they're going to get rid of all these lights so you can get too quickly from downtown or from 275. Um, here's the hospital. All right. Here's the high school that we talked about. Here's Streamside. So where are you going to go to? Where are you going to go to the grocery store? Well, you do have choices. Um, everyone knows what Walmart is. So there are two WalMarts that are fairly close, and there's a Kroger store that is fairly close. First, let's just make this really simple, and let's say we hop on 32, and we want to go to Eastgate. All right. So we're just going to follow, just follow 32 um, west. All right. This is, we're getting to downtown Batavia right here. Um, we got UC Claremont up on the hill. Um, and then you can see the township line right here. So we're gonna have to go outside of the township because we don't have a grocery store in there. I'm gonna blow it up a little bit. All right, so um, here we are, we're still on, on 32. This is the, uh, this is Jeff Weiler and Holman that I showed you in that drone footage of, a, of the corridor, right? So that's where this is. Um, but you still need to keep on going if you're going to go to if you're going to go to Eastgate. So once you get to Eastgate, you do have choices. Okay, you can go to Meyer. 
Uh, you might be familiar with Meyer. Meyer is a, a large grocery store, but it also has like home goods and other things. So you can buy apparel and stuff for your house. It's got a garden center. I mean, there's all kind of, you know, it's similar to a Walmart. Um, and then you got Jungle Gems, which is like something that you've never seen before. It's an international market. They've got um, things from all over the world. In fact, it's a it's a tourist attraction. I would I would consider you could spend all day there. It's a super cool place. Um, I don't grocery shop there. I do buy some things there, um, but it's su it's such a large store you get lost in it unless you know your way around. In fact, they give you a map when you walk into the store. So that's Jungle Gyms or uh, Walmart, which we talked about, and then Sam's Club. If if you want to be a member of a of a wholesale um, type of club, you might have depending on where you're coming from, you may have a Sam's Club or a Costco or something like that. So you'd be familiar. So if you go all the way to Eastgate, you could go to Meyer, Jungle Gyms, or Walmart. All right. So also there are there's a Kroger in Eastgate as well. Eastgate Mall for shopping, but they don't have a lot. The mall is actually, it's in bankruptcy right now. It's pretty much run down. They do have a Kohl's there um, that's probably keeping the place open. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot going on there. Um, in Eastgate, there also is a Best Buy. So for electronics, TVs, stuff like that, Dick Sporting Goods. Um, that's what you got in Eastgate. Now, let's go back up 32 to um, show you what your other options are. That, there's another Walmart in Amelia and there's a Kroger in Amelia. We're just taking 132. I'm gonna show you some drone footage of this here coming up as well, but you're gonna take 132 past Sycamore Park, which I'm gonna show you. And we're gonna follow this all the way. Um, there's an elementary school, which is in uh, West Claremont. And we are gonna be at 125. So this is 125, which is the edge of the township. So 132 into 125, here's Walmart. You don't want Walmart, hang it right on 125, just a couple miles. And we'll get to Kroger, which is right here. All right. So that's a good look at if you were to live out um, in the CNE school district. You're still close to a lot of things. I'm not, I haven't even talked about how close you are to say Milford, um, which they have, you know, grocery stores in Milford and, and a lot of other things. In fact, that's in Miami Township in Milford. That is the second largest township in all of Claremont County. So you have options is what I'm trying to say. Uh, even though we don't have a grocery store inside of Batavia Township, we still have options of major grocery stores, whether it be click list and you go pick it up at Kroger or you have it delivered to your house, or you like to actually physically go and shop at either Walmart, Sam's, Meyer, Jungle Gyms, Kroger, all that good stuff. So, all right. So we talked about maybe some neighborhoods that, you know, you could possibly live in if you're looking to move out of Batavia Township uh, in the different school districts, but where might you work? Maybe you work at home and just need a home with has a home office and you don't have to worry about a commute. Um, some people from out here, residents out here, they'll, commute to downtown or some other areas, but would it be nice to have uh, a short drive to work? So let me show you some places that maybe potentially you could uh, find employment while living in Batavia Township. A lot's going on right now. Um, in fact, just outside of Batavia Township, I'm going to show you the line here again. All right, here's 32 that we've been talking about. Here's the line to Batavia Township. But let's look right here. You got Afton, Afton Industrial Park. Big things are going on right there. We got uh, Millicron. Their global headquarters is right here, which is right on the edge of the township. Um, but I want to show you how just the massive size of Nestle Purina. So Purina, obviously dog food, right? They're, they make dog food. Um, this is going to be their massive pet food plant. They're hiring 300 uh, jobs for this particular plant. Not sure when this um, Google satellite image was taken. Here you can see what's going on, but let me show you. Um, I did some drone footage of this, of this baby. It is massive. I uh, just want to just kind of show you a few, few seconds of this so you can kind of get an idea to wrap your head around how large um, this place is. 
Again, this is just outside, just east of Batavia Township in Williamsburg Township. But look at that building. I mean, it, it's just impressive when you just drive by it. Um, of course, I'm flying over it with, with my drone. I have actually flown over it in, in my airplane. And it's just, you look down and it's like, what in the world is going to be going on there? Now, we're used to having some fairly large size buildings in Batavia Township. Um, the actual uh, Ford transmission plant used to be in, um, in Batavia Township. They have, they've moved that plant out, but the building is still there. There's actually other companies that are inside of, um, inside of that building right now, but just, this is Perina. I mean, just look at the size of this. Um, it's going to be opening up here in the next few months. Um, they're putting on hiring, um, events right now. You saw the, the sign that I, the photos that I took before I, I came into the facility. Um, and then right next door design within reach where they, uh, they manufacture like, um, outdoor furniture or furniture for that matter. And look at the size of this building. It is also massive. So you got Perina over, um, on the North side, um, on the South side of, um, right behind Perina, you got design within reach. So those are two places that you could potentially, um, find, uh, find employment right here, just outside of, uh, of Batavia township. And uh, also, there is one other plant that manufactures trailers. So big text trailers. Also, you can see it's right here. Um, again, obviously putting on a, uh, a hiring event. Uh, look at just all of these trailers. Now, this is not a dealership here. This is this is the actual plant where they um, where they build these trailers. Uh, this is in Batavia Township. So this is not as far east as what I just showed you. Uh, here it is here. It's just inside of Batavia Township. Um, it's by the YMCA here. Um, and then you can see here's the, the, the uh, design within reach. This gives you an idea of what we're talking about. And then this is um, this is Perina. So, but just look at these, uh, the amount of trailers here. So there's some opportunity for some work out here in Batavia Township. Um, and then also there is Humataki. I think I, I think I'm saying that correctly. Humataki, and that they are actually in the old um, the old Ford plant, which is right here. There it is. Who oh who Tamaki who Tamaki that's it who Tamaki, and they um, they make cups, they manufacture cups and and lids. So uh, and I believe this is their largest. Um, this is their largest facility uh, in, in, in the world. So this is a big deal right here. So lots of, lots of opportunity um, for work um, if you are looking at moving into Batavia Township and looking for a new career. There's some opportunities here uh, close by. Okay, so we talked about where you can live, where you maybe would work. Now let's talk about where you play. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that Cincinnati has a lot of parks, well over 300. In fact, just short of 400 at this point. Well, we have three in Batavia Township alone. So let's talk about those. So um, with the flagship park, which is Batavia Township, which is right here, um, I will zoom out a little bit just to give you an idea. So here's our township lines, right? Here's 125 and Amelia Olive Branch. Okay, here's... 32. Here's the airport, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, so here is the uh, Batavia Township Community Center, which is off of Clough Pike, which I told you once before, I still believe is the longest road. It um, the longest road in all of Claremont County. All right. And uh, a lot going on here. They got baseball fields, uh, you know, playgrounds, soccer fields. They have a dog park. Uh, of course, you know, they've got um, the community center itself where, you know, they hold meetings. Here's some drone footage that I shot. Uh, they have pickleball. Uh, UC Claremont's baseball team actually plays here. In fact, they are practicing right now when I was getting this drone footage. Um, they're on the field right now. It looks like they're maybe getting ready to take some batting practice. Uh, so, but they have this main field here where, like I said, UC Claremont plays and they have these other fields um, that, you know, some of the 
you know, this, this, the smaller, the smaller guys and gals get to play. Um, there's neighborhoods that butt up right to it. They have a walking trail, which you can see right here. That's a walking trail that you can get to from this neighborhood uh, right here, which I don't remember doing this, but looks like I'm going to fly up over top of it right now so you can get a good look. Um, this is a this is a super nice neighborhood. Uh, really nice homes. You can see some of them have some in-ground pools in them, but it butts up right next to uh, right up next to the Batavia Township um, Park. So let me see if I can just fast forward this a little bit for you, so it's get a really good look. Here's a dog the dog park over here. Uh, of course, these are the baseball fields. You got a really nice concession area with with restrooms. Uh, here's uh, pickleball, which is becoming really, really popular. Plenty of parking. Uh, they got a play area right here, uh, a nice uh, picnic shelter, uh, some more some more restrooms. Um, and of course, you can see how far the trail goes. You got all of this green space, you know, for, you know, it looks like they I guess I actually got some soccer goals there. So they probably play, play, play soccer here. They've got another playground over here, another picnic area. So this is just a, this is a huge, huge park. Uh, again, right off of Clough Pike. It's really easy to get to. There's the dog park again. Um, pickleball is a little bit better views of, um, it looks like they're playing right now. Um, you can see the, the, the playground. So yeah, this is Batavia Township Park. Super, super nice park. And if you are uh, a township resident, uh, you can actually reserve a, a meeting room uh, inside of the, um, of the community hall if you needed to use it for, for anything at all. Uh, it's got a fishing pond as well. I've almost forgot about that. It's got a fishing pond. You can see the fountain there. Uh, all they play cornhole, sand volleyball. Um, they do um, national night out here, you know, where, you know, police and fire departments or whatever from all the neighboring communities will come out. They'll bring their fire trucks and their police cruisers and stuff. And they, you know, you can ask them questions or hang out with them. So this is a really, uh, really nice park. We're very fortunate to, to have this here. So this is the first of three parks that I'm going to show you. Okay, let's move on over to our second park that we have in Batavia Township, um, which is East Fork and here it is right here. You can see that, you know, only part of the lake is in Batavia Township. It's a, it's a decent sized lake. Uh, I wouldn't say it's anything crazy. Um, you can boat on it. There's not a, uh, a size restriction for, for boats. And there's a lot of boats that, that do boat on it, especially on the weekends, um, your, or jet ski for that matter. There uh, are, different there, i think there's two different beaches i do believe i know one is um uh let's see if i can find it here so right here and this is okay so this is going to be good to see so this is first of all let's talk about how you get there so off of 222 which is off of 125 or you can pick up 222 from downtown batavia all right, so let's just try to see if I can see if you can follow along with me here. So here we are in downtown Batavia. All right, this is right here in the village downtown, and you just take 222 on up out of downtown Batavia. That will bring you into the park. All right, so here you are coming into the park. So this right here is the dam. And I'm going to show you some drone footage from the dam that I shot the other day. You'll, you'll be able to recognize this right here. So yeah, I parked right here and shot some drone footage. And uh, I'm going to show you that here in a second. But uh, before we go too far, like I said, half of the lake is in Batavia Township. Um, the uh, other half, it looks like, I think it's going to be in uh, Tate Township. So uh, here's one of the boat ramps. And it, there is a beach here as well. A lot of stuff going on here at East Fork. I know I grew up here. Uh, my mom would take me, you know, in the summertime. My dad was at work during the day. He, you know, my mom would take uh, my brother and I to the beach and we would, this is where we'd swim. But we come here, um, it doesn't cost anything. And uh, we'd spend, you know, most of the day here. Um, if you like, uh, if you or you, if you have horses, you like horseback riding, they have trails for that. They have camping. Um, of course, boating, they have several, uh, boat ramps on the lake. 
But let me let me let me put up this uh, let me put up this this drone video just so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's not real long; it's only about a minute. But there's there's the dam I was I was talking to, to you about. Um, like I said, I am parked in the um, in the parking lot for the boat ramp. Now this is in April now, so not a lot of boaters going on in April. If I would taken this in June, I may go ahead and go back out there in June or July and just give you a, a the. the there is a boat right there. And it looks like maybe another one over there. But there, I'm going to stop this. There is that beach I was talking about. It doesn't look like it's all that big from um, from here, but it's it's a good size. It's a good it's a good size beach. There is another beach on the other side of the lake um, that's not as popular. This one here is the more uh, is the more popular of the two. Um, there are a couple weekends during. Um, during the year where they'll close off half the lake and they have a, like a rowing regatta. And this is actually the part of the, the, the half of the lake that they close. They have the regatta right here. And um, it, it's kind of, it's pretty cool to watch actually. Um, but you can see, I'm just kind of flying over, uh, flying over the lake. There's really not a lot going on. This was you know last week or the week before, I guess. So again, we're in April, um, but you know, the water is a little muddy cause we had some rain, but for the most part, Looks like it's in decent shape. Um, so yeah, so that's East Fork Lake. That is our second park that we have in Batavia Township. Um, now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna show you Sycamore Park. All right, so Sycamore Park is closer to down into um, the village. So let's just go, uh, let's go down, let's see here. This is 222, let's find 132. So here's 125. Here's 132, all right? So I don't want to confuse you. Here's 222. Hang a right on 125. Let's go down 132, all right? We'll go down 132. Here's Holly Hill that I showed you before. That's in West Claremont School District. Um, so down 132, crossover chapel. Down 132, down 130. Here we go, here we go. We're getting closer to uh, down into um, the village. And there we have it. There is... Sycamore Park. Now, because of where uh, of the time of year that this um, this was shot, obviously from space, you can't see the park. <laughs> you can't see the park. Um, actually, this is it right here. This is the park right here. But I do have I do have some footage for you. I do have some footage for you. Just let me let me find it. Um, I want to start off by showing you. So there, you see this right here, this East Fork Little Miami River. I got a really cool um, a video of that um, while I was there. So this is 132 right here, um, which is the park is is this way. And uh, I just pulled over on the side of the road. And I just wanted to shoot this. This is the village. This is downtown Batavia right here. Um, obviously, this is the bridge going uh, it's going west. But this is just a, a, a pretty cool shot of, of the village. Here's uh, UDF here. This is one of the many convenience stores. Like I said before, we don't have a major grocery store. And then there's a good shot of, of Main Street, you know, in, in, in the village. Um, I thought I had another video of, uh, of the river, but, but maybe not. Um, let's see here. Let me see if I can find Sycamore Park. Oh, here we go. All right. So this is just me driving through on it with the GoPro. Obviously, there's a sign to get in. This is a really nice park. Again, it runs right alongside of, of you know, that East Fork Little Miami River that I just showed you. Um, this is like during the day, during the week. Not real busy. Again, kids are in school, stuff like that. But there's still some people out. Plenty of picnic areas. Um, there's playgrounds, obviously restrooms. Um, but you know, I honestly, today, what I saw is a lot of people just kind of in their cars or they would get out and they're just, you know, they're either, you know, got their headphones in or they're reading a book and, um, you know, there's no sound on this particular video, but you know, it's peaceful. It's a su super peaceful park. Um, there again, is another one of those, um, picnic facilities that I was talking about that backs right up to, uh, Backs right up to that East Fork Little Miami River. There's another picnic area um, coming up on a playground here. So just, um, just we're very lucky to have such nice uh, parks. You got tennis courts there. Um, you know, 
you bring your dogs down there. There's a couple people just kind of chilling, laying out on a blanket. Um, like I said, this is during the week, <clears throat> you know, during the day, kids are in school, not real busy. <clears throat> on the weekends, this it gets busier between this park and Batavia Township Park that I told you about before. Gets um, it gets busy and gets very busy, especially when the kids are playing playing their games. Um, so you know, if you wanted to go out and enjoy some uh, enjoy some nature and, and just be outside, you could probably definitely find a game on a on uh, any particular day to just to go and sit and watch or just just enjoy just enjoy the outside. So this is Sycamore Park again. It's in downtown Batavia in the village, um, and uh, super nice park. Oh look, yeah, here we go. I forgot I did this. So. This is the, the river, and I'm going to shut up because you're going to be able to hear this. So peaceful. Okay, so that's going to do it um, for our parks. Next up, what I want to show you is the airport. Now, this is near and dear to me because I'm a pilot. So let me show you... Um, let me show you the airport. So here it is, uh, Sporty's Pilot Shop. Not real sure if you've heard of that before, but um, they're, you know, known around the world. You know, you can you can buy buy stuff right out of the catalog or whatever. And they've got a, a a very large store here with a warehouse. But so this is off of uh, Taylor. So Clough, here's Clough Pike. Here, this is the Batavia Township uh, Community Center uh, in the park. So here's Clough. You're going to hang a, hang a left on Taylor. And here is, um, here's the airport. Let's see it. Oh, here we go. So I'm not sure what happened there, but here I am landing in the sporties. Uh, so if you live around the airport, obviously during, you know, uh, nice weather, you're going to have some, uh, you're going to have some air traffic, right? You're not going to have big, big airplanes. They're not going to be jets. These are all small. You know, a lot of them are just trainer airplanes. This is a four seater that I'm flying here. Um, this is, a, you know, 172 single engine plane, but I'm coming in, I'm landing. Uh, I'm landing here, uh, I believe on runway 22, I believe it is. And, uh, but I mean, there is a pattern and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but yeah, here's some, here's me, uh, here's me coming in to land. But, um, you know, there are homes obviously around here. In fact, where I live right now, I'm inside the traffic pattern and you are going to, uh, you're going to see the planes. You're going to hear the planes. Um, they're not going to be lower than a thousand feet, um, but you are, you will see them. So let me pull out here again. Here is the runway. It's just one, one uh, runway. You got two, two this way, uh, runway four this way. And, um, you know, depending on, you know, where you live, you know, you could potentially see, see or have airplanes flying over your house. Um, one thing to note, the where East Fork Lake is and further out east is, is the actual uh, practice area. Um, UC, University of Cincinnati has a, an aviation school. And um, or if you were just just someone that wanted to learn to fly, you're going to learn to fly a lot of hours inside that practice area with, you know, learning how to fly maneuvers and stuff like that. So that is going to be out over East Fork and further out, um, out East. So that really shouldn't be a problem. Every once in a while, you'll have this guy. I think he's a complete lunatic. Never met him. Sure. He's a super nice guy, but he does, um, he does aerobatic. So he does crazy stuff, flips and rolls and all this other thing. And that's usually right above, right above the runway. And they do that because just in case if he has engine out, has any trouble, he can get back and he can land safely. So let me just show you real quick. This might not mean a whole lot to you, uh, but you know, if you do call us and you're looking to looking to move into the township and you want and you just absolutely do not want to be anywhere near the airport or you don't want to be in the pattern, I can show you exactly where it is. But just to give you an idea, um, you know. Airplanes come in from this direction right here, okay? And we come in on a 45 degree angle, all right? So we come in, actually, Hamlet right here. Let me see if I can see it. So these red roofs, we, we, we take a 45 degree angle from those roofs, okay? So from right there, we come in at this angle, all right? And we come in a 
right around this this way right here. And then once we get into once we get into the pattern, we'll fly like from here, we'll come in, we'll enter the pattern and we'll fly this way. Okay? And then we come to about where you see the sheriff's office in the jail. We'll make our turn. This is our turn to base and then final and then come on in here. We do the exact same thing from the other direction, just depending on, you know, uh, which way that we're coming from. Same idea. So again, if you, you know, decide you want to, you know, come and live, you know, in or around, you know, this area where, you know, we have the airport here, Claremont County, Sporties, I can show you exactly where they fly. It is like clockwork because there is a pattern that, that we are with that we, we need to fly to stay safe. Right. So, um, Anyway, that is that is Sporties, uh, which is right in the heart of uh, Batavia Township. And again, there's quite a bit of air traffic, but they're not the big jets. They're um, they're just you know small general av aviation airplanes, which again I love to fly. And um, one thing too is you know um, if you like to watch it, there's a viewing area there. You can take your kids. There's a playground. It's a really nice place on Saturdays. They have a fly in. They give away you know free hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff. So. Um, Pretty cool. It's a great place to be, a great place to hang out. They also have some of the um, Warbird um, old old planes. You can see the museum right here, but on some, there's some days like Saturdays, even Sundays, I think sometimes they even fly those, those planes, which is really, really cool to see. As much as I love making these videos for you, what I'd really like to do is help you with your real estate needs. I am a licensed realtor here in Cincinnati, Ohio. That should be my number and email address that's popping up on the bottom of the screen. Be sure to reach out. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email. I'm the one that responds to all of those reach outs. Days, nights, weekends. It doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one, I'll catch you later.